My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. Welcome to the Soul Gym series. Emotional intelligence is a really critical life skill. Uh, it's three times more important to career success, for example, than, than the normal cognitive intelligence. And emotions are bodily things, so our emotions happen in our bodies. One place you can practice this is in the gym. It's very normal in the gym to have intense physical experiences and to have some awareness on the body. So it can be very useful to then see what emotions are arising. So how am I feeling now? Am I getting angry because I can't lift? Am I getting prideful that I put some extra weight on? Uh, do I feel guilty that I haven't been in a week? So at gym you can practice emotional awareness. Now there's lots of Buddhist practices to developing certain uh, beneficial emotional states. They talk about loving kindness, for example, particularly. And you can think of being nice as a, as a muscle that can actually be built because there are practices to really encourage these states. One very simple one you can use in the gym is silently wishing other people a good workout or a lovely day. You know, use your own language and you don't have to do it out loud. You don't want to stare at people or else that can be a bit creepy, but just having a sense of people around you in your class or on other machines or on other weight decks and say to yourself, I hope you have a great life. Have a good one. Have a nice day. But really meaning it. A side benefit of this uh, state of developing loving kindness is it will create a more relaxed body mind and, and this can be more efficient for exercise and also less injury prone. It would also feel good, which is you know, an aim for many people who want to go to the gym and feel good.